Hello, welcome once again to Strength and Heal and Connect. My name is Kat Thomas. Today we're going to talk about something that I enjoy doing. Maybe I'm one of those crazy people. If you know me, you're probably shaking your head yes. Today we're going to talk about planks and how to get ourselves into a healthy plank where we're not hurting ourselves and we're really kind of focusing on what the plank is meant for, which is our core. Our core is where we uh, find ourselves grounded in and where we find ourselves in the present moment. Um, kind of like using our breath to bring us back to that moment uh, of the present, uh, where we can also reach into the past to learn and where we can guide ourselves to the future to gain hope, but bring that all together to stay focused and grounded in the present moment to become our best whole selves. Um, the plank is a great way to become strong if you're trying to build into other inversions, say a headstand um, or other yoga or Pilates poses. Um, planks are used in a lot of gyms uh, to build strength. Um, or if you're just having fun during the quarantine, uh, I know a few of my friends and I are doing some plank challenges together. This is a great way to learn how to do it without hurting yourself. Um, I'd like to encourage anybody uh, to try these out. Um, this is not meant to give you the perfect body. As you can see, I am not here to promote perfect bodies. I, uh, I'm here to promote feeling good and learning how to heal uh, and to become the best self that we can be. It's a lifelong journey and one that I am excited and happy that I started doing for my own self and I just want to share that with you all. So let's begin. So most important thing for planks is to remember to keep breathing. Um, we forget sometimes how important the breath is even though it keeps us living. So I will remind you uh, occasionally throughout. Uh, second most important thing are these beautiful things called our hands. Um, you can actually use fists which I'll call pillows or your forearms. Whatever you are using, you wanna make sure that they are flat on the surface the whole time, meaning that they are engaged. So if you're using your hands, you're gonna spread all the fingers that you have, spread them wide, and you're gonna connect each part of the surface of your hand on the mat, on the floor, whatever you're using. If you're using your forearms, same thing goes from elbows all the way to the fingertips, will be connected and flat on the mat. If you're using your fist, you're gonna make sure that the knuckles to the top of the knuckles are going to be flat and that you have a straight solid line anchored down all the way up to your shoulders. And then the last most important thing is that you have fun with this. Again, I'm not here to achieve the perfect body. Um, if I uh, finally get to um, my perfect handstand, which I am trying to achieve, then yay, my planks got me there or it helped me get there. Uh, but smiling helps. So smiling not only helps with the muscles in the face softening and relaxing, which then helps blood flow and oxygen uh, move a little more freely through the body, but it also sends a little message um, to the brain. Uh, maybe it's going to fool you into thinking that you're really enjoying this moment. So I encourage you to try it and uh, then shaking just reminds you that you're alive. Um, so let's start and uh, see how we can get ourselves into plank. All right. So I like to start here to remind myself to set into the right moment. So I start in a seated posture. If this is a little too much, then you can always sit up, but I like to sit on my sit bones. I like to breathe for just a moment, set the alignment. I inhale, lift the shoulders up to my ears and roll the shoulders back as I exhale, almost as if I'm bringing the shoulder blades back down the spine. So now I'm in alignment, the crown of my head is reaching upwards. The natural curve in my back is there. 
And I'm going to inhale. As I exhale, I'm going to bring my hands, if I'm going flat-handed, spreading the fingertips and placing them down flat on the mat, okay? So we have a tendency in life, naturally, when we're bringing our bodies down to any floor, to bring our hands out. We just naturally do it. When you're falling, your hands go out to try and catch you. You'll hear a lot of times people say, bring your wrists underneath the shoulders. This is what it looks like. So before we actually start, we're gonna do some wrist exercises just to give them a little bit of love. And we're gonna bring our hands about shoulders distance apart. Now what that means to me is three fists. So hips distance to me is two fists width and add one more fist and you'll have shoulders distance apart. So placing the, palm, the hands and the palms flat on the mat, spreading the fingers, we're just gonna flip one hand at a time, the fingertips facing the knees now, and just stretch yourself, coming back slightly and coming back forward. Just little movements here. And inhale as you come forward and exhale, come back. You don't wanna lift the hands. We're just doing soft, slow, gentle movements, warming up the wrists for ourselves and then flip them back over and come back to your tabletop, okay? So we've warmed up our wrists just a little bit. So from here, I'm gonna keep letting my belly hang down, right? So let that feeling come through and arch the back. See how that feels? So now draw the navel in here, suck in that belly, like you're trying to get the belly button to come up into the lower back and then smooth out the spine. So we're gonna flatten the back and then let the belly drop again. So inhale, draw the belly in and exhale, release. Inhale, draw the belly in and exhale, release. So you can do this as you're setting yourself up with little bursts of air like shh, 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 shh. So hold here. So from here, your shoulder blades are back. You set yourself up already. Your beautiful feet are nice and light and flat on the mat. And take a nice sip in through the nose. Take a nice breath in. And as you exhale, you're just gonna start to slowly bring the chest, or I say the heart center, up and over the fingertips. Keep the gaze forward. From time to time, I'll look towards the camera just to give instruction. And then exhale, draw yourself back. So inhale and then exhale, bring the heart center up and over the fingertips again. And then let's come back onto the sit bones, shake out the wrist. Okay, so you've got all those feelings, setting yourself up, drawing the navel in, shoulder blades back. So let's move into the next form of the plank. So inhale, lift the shoulders up and roll them back as you exhale. Inhale as we exhale, bring the palms up, place them flat down on the mat, Wrists underneath the shoulders, shoulders distance apart. So let's bring that heart center up slightly over the fingertips. We're gonna extend the left leg back, flex and come up on the ball of that left foot. So right now we've got a nice, strong, even hip. This is where we have a tendency to start rolling and dipping to each side. Find that anchor and find your tripod, meaning right now you wanna have equal balance amongst your arms. So don't bend, don't sink into one side or the other. Keep that strength and how you do that is coming up and over the fingertips, keeping the gaze forward and then lifting gently and bringing that right leg back. So now your feet are shoulders distance, your hands are shoulders distance, your navel is drawn in, your back is nice and flat. So here is your plank, your high plank. 
So if we want to modify this plank, we're going to drop the knees, keep them shoulders distance apart, soften to the backs of the feet, and again, bring the heart center up and over the fingertips a little more. Make sure those shoulder blades are rolling back. This is where we have a tendency to start arching the back. We don't want to do that. We want to keep a nice flat back, draw the navel in. You can cross the ankles and bring the feet in towards the sit bones. And then slowly rock back onto your sit bones, roll out the wrists, shake them out. And those are two modifications of a simple plank pose. If you have questions or want to join in one of my five week plank challenges, don't hesitate to reach out or DM me. I can be found on YouTube, on Instagram, and on Facebook. This is Strength and Heal and Connect. My name is Kat Thomas. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.